All right, what's up today, guys? We're doing an exercise review. So let's check out the exercise first. We're talking about side bends, and then I'll give you a little bit of my opinion on that exercise. Again, this is an exercise review, so typically on what we call you know, kind of controversial movements. Um, and I'll share my thoughts on the movement at the end. As always, thank you for checking this page out. Feel free to subscribe, like, and comment below. I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think about this movement. I'm curious to hear what people say in the comments um, because it is a controversial movement. So let's check it out. All right, we just saw the side bend. Now, if you guys have seen um, Chinese weightlifting, for example, they do this movement, at least from what I understand, and they warm up, and many other, you know, prolific athletes do this movement. And the question becomes, should we do side bends in our training? Now, the first argument why we shouldn't do them is because it teaches us to get into positions that maybe we shouldn't be getting into that are vulnerable for our spine and our back. Um, the other debate is the movement itself is dangerous and it doesn't, um, it's not the best movement to load, we should say. So that's kind of the argument around why we shouldn't. And the argument around why we should do is, well, if we can move that way, we should move that way. And we should strengthen our abilities through these lengthened positions that we deem vulnerable. So it's actually, the argument's like the same argument, different sides of the coin. One says, those are vulnerable movements, which is why we shouldn't do it. And the other argument is like, well, those are vulnerable movements, which is why we should do them. Now, my opinion is a little bit of a mix. I think when, more times than not, it's not really the exercise that is bad, it's how you perform the exercise. Now, with that being said, this movement takes a lot of conscious effort to make sure you're actually using your obliques and your quadratus lumbarum to actually perform this exercise versus just shifting your hips side to side and doing an excessive amount of lateral bending that isn't loading the tissue you want. So my caveat or cop-out answer would be, yes, it can be an appropriate exercise when done correctly. The other thing you might wanna keep in mind is range of motion. You won't want to go to excessive ranges of motion when this range of motion itself is rarely trained in your training. So getting used to the movement pattern starting with no load or minimal load might be something that is wise for you. Now, on top of all of this, the question becomes for any exercise is it's not necessarily about good or bad. It's about how does it fit into a program and then if it actually makes sense in the program, the definition of if that exercise is good or bad, it does it help us achieve our goals. And secondly, secondly, is the exercise done appropriately? Because any good exercise, good exercise done poorly can be deemed a bad exercise. But from my point of view, if our body is meant to move that way, muscles do help us move that way under the right constraints and right range of motion, I can see that exercise being beneficial um, and doesn't need to be standing. The question is side bending. Yes, I have one demonstrative exercise with the bar on our back. And again, that could be something we want to modify. Maybe a dumbbell would be a better exercise than a bar on our back, or maybe using a glute ham extension laterally moving the, our spine. That way would be beneficial. Um, again, this is a hotly debated topic. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. My opinion is honestly a little bit mixed. And it's not a straightforward answer. I will not say it depends, but I think when doing this movement, there's a lot of things we need to consider. So I appreciate you guys listening. I hope you enjoy. As always, if you have comments or questions, please let us know in the comments. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and feel free to share. I appreciate you all. Thanks for listening.